Hey, David, the Quality Inn on Sunnyside Road in Clackamas was going to be part of the Project Turnkey, which converts hotels into shelters for people who are struggling with homelessness. Chris Cisliani was going to live on site and work as the property manager. He was going to handle everything from security to checking in residents and finding them resources. He had already started packing his stuff to move in when he found out this wasn't happening. Chris Siciliani is looking at an opportunity that fell through. This is the Quality Inn Hotel in Clackamas County, which was supposed to be turned into transitional housing under the Project Turnkey program. County commissioners voted three to two back in February to buy this hotel for just over 15 million. Last week, County Chair Tootie Smith reversed her earlier vote in favor of the purchase. Siciliani was supposed to be the property manager here. I would check on them every single day, mo multiple times a day. And if they needed resources, I would contact Street Roots. I would help them get what they need. State and Metro affordable housing bond funds would have paid for this project. It would have been the first converted hotel in Clackamas County. Smith indicated that her vote reversal was due to public feedback. The first mistake, we didn't listen to enough people to get enough buy-in to do this, so we're going to do that. Smith went on to say county commissioners will come up with another plan on how to address homelessness. As of now, Ciciliani is out of a job. He was going to live at the hotel and have most of his expenses paid for. It was going to be life-changing. Like I, I've worked in behavioral health before, and I feel like I could, you know, try to make a change, but it got shut down. The hotel is next to a large strip mall with several businesses, including a McMinimins. Last week, the property's landlord filed a lawsuit against the county hoping to stop Project Turnkey. It claimed the project would violate deed restrictions and be out of harmony with the restaurant operating within the shopping center. The very next morning after the lawsuit was filed, Chair Smith called the emergency meeting and reversed her vote, canceling the project. She maintained her vote was not influenced by the suit. Open up your heart and listen to it. And listen to that there are people out there trying to make a change for people who need a change. And commissioners will make an announcement soon about the next plan of action when it comes to homelessness. And Siciliani has another full-time job. He will continue to work since Project Turnkey is not happening.